Okay, I have my fruiting blocks here and some of them have already started to fruit. I'm actually late in the game, but I wanted to show you. I got my Vivo Sun tents set up. One of them is way smaller than what I expected it to be. Yes, I should have looked at the measurements. Actually, I think I clicked on the wrong one is what happened. Um, that one is an 8x4. This one was supposed to be a 4x4, but it's 4x2. And because it is so small, it's shorter. So even if I would have, if I would have ordered the four by four, it would have been, it would have had the height to it. So, but anyway, um, there'll be a YouTube on that. So if you're following and watching the day to day beginning, a very beginning, uh, start of this, I'll explain that. Um, I'm getting ready to do some editing and post a video really soon on this. I wanted to show you the actual, let me get far enough away. This tent is humongous, eight foot by four foot. That right there is actually the HEPA air filtration system that came with it. Let's go inside and I wanna show you, I'm so excited. So I'm putting my bags and things in here and be nice because I'm a baby at this and I'm trying this. I'm really hoping this will work to be a full-time uh, thing. Uh, these came from North Spores where I got mine. I'm just tagging the shelf and then um, I'm going on the website that I ordered it from and it gives specific instructions on how to handle the bags. So at first when you take them out of the box, it says to unfold the bag, open it up and let it have air. My mistake, I didn't read this prior because you could kind of keep it in a dark space to store it. I didn't, I kept it in my basement, which we have lights and everything on. So they've started to fruit in the bag. However, it's okay. I'm just, I'm getting to it a little late in the game. But anyway, it says on certain species, this one here in particular, King Trumpet, to lift the bag up, make a tiny slit at the top, and then just let it do its thing. So um, that one's on that shelf. Over here I have, this one here is Lion's Mane. I have Lion's Mane here. I poked holes in that bag. It said to fold the bag up. This one's Reishi. It said to leave the bag up. Don't do anything to it. Don't poke any holes in it. And then on the shelf here, I have Golden Oyster. You probably can't see it here in the dark. These labels have the humidity and the temperature that it should be. And I like, one thing that I've actually learned from this is I like that I can label these shelves. So even after I don't have the North Sport, I'm going to probably label the shelves. And, um, I don't, I might not need it, but I just, I don't know. I like it that way. Um, I don't know if it's OCD or <laughs> what, but, um, so that one's on the shelf there and let me see. So I had a lady message me on Facebook and say, if you're doing this in their basement, it can be dangerous. So you have to, um, make sure that tent is airtight. So I'm going to really plan on getting this out of the house somehow. For now, this is the best thing I can do. I have a, um, let me go get my mask and show you what I have. Here's the mask that I ordered. Um, I'm not sure. She sent some parameters on the mask. I don't know that this fits that. I need to look and see. I would think anything is better than nothing at this point. And then she mentioned completely shutting up the tent. So this, the, these tents are equipped with tons of holes and windows and um, whatever they do to one end, they do to this end. So this end has a ceiling and a wall hole. Same thing down there. There's holes in the floor. There's holes on the walls. There's vent holes. So I'm actually am right now going through and closing these and all of these holes are double. So like here's one, you shut and close this one. And then once that's closed, you can shut and close this one over top of it. So that's what I'm doing right now, going through and double closing all of these holes. And instead of just cinching them, I don't feel like just cinching is enough. I'm kind of tying this pretty tight. I got to go back and tighten this one around it just to be sure. Um, and then I have my Vivo Sun, which this also came with the tent, is the this here. This is what it is in here right now. So I don't have anything running. And actually my husband set me up. Um, there's a humidifier. It's a cool mist humidifier. I'm really hoping that's going to work 
for now just to get me by and then actually you've seen the giant here's the filter um unit and everything it's an eight inch in line and i'm actually going to hang it from the ceiling so i don't have it in my way um i believe it's going to be on the inside so i'm going to hang it probably from up here just to get it off the floor now because i want the floor space for shelving right now there's not much in here but i'm hoping that um we can get more so i got a lot of light peeking i gotta close in all these holes but i wanted to show you where i was if you're not following me on youtube please go ahead and check that out and don't forget to like the videos that's how we get paid but um yeah there we go taking up a huge spot in my basement i mean these this tent is ginormous but i love it i couldn't afford a gorilla tent the gorilla tents were very expensive these here i if you watch them you can find them on um they have like little flash sales and that's how i got the big i, I don't i think i spent 450 dollars for all of this for the big one the small one and then the inline air hepa system and then the humidifier thermometer thing that came with it. So I think it was 450 for all this. I went back in here yesterday to check and see if I ordered the wrong tent, which I did. And that tent up there is about 700 bucks right now on its own. So you got to catch them on flash sale. But if you, if you, if you can, it is totally worth it. So, um, yeah. And I want to thank you guys for all the help. Uh, I need it. <laughs> if you have any suggestions or anything, uh, right now I kind of have a mess because this is the one that fruited out of the bag and as I was doing this I noticed that the pink one is starting to fruit in the bag and then when I moved it there was a piece I don't know where it went it's out of here too and actually oh here it is stuck to the table look at this mess that was underneath the bag of pink and then I have I'm assuming this is spores on my table so it's really already starting to take over. So with me being absolutely brand spanking like newborn newbie, um, I'm excited, but I'm so nervous right now. But I think it'll be okay. I just got to get everything figured out. Now that the tents are up and I have a place to put things, I think it'll get better. So, But please keep on with the, um, the information. You can send me any help would be greatly appreciated. And until next time, thanks.